What's going on guys? It's your boy Mr. 75 Capici with another video. Today guys, we're going to be going to Ace Mobile Watch to go pick up the Malibu. Yes, today guys is my birthday, which will probably drop tomorrow. So that means yesterday was my birthday, August 9th. So, you know, even on my birthday I got to work. But it's fine, you know, I just came back from vacation. Had to take the family out before kids go to school, back to school. So, fun times. But now, you know, we got to get back to work. So we got, let me show y'all. We got the big horn on the 28th. First time ever going to be hauling with it. So let's see how this goes. Um, gonna be my first time putting it on the highway with these big boys. Because you guys know tow truck's broken down right now. Um, look at all that mess it's making. So yeah, when I, uh, y'all remember from the last video, one of the hoses busted on me so we need to get that fixed also but you know everything takes time so i just got back from vacation so i need to take this to get fixed real quick so we're gonna get to that but right now we gotta go pick it up so we gotta use what we have so that means trailer and bighorn so let's see how this 28s perform with the weight on hopefully it's not too bad like i said it's gonna be my first time getting on the highway with this big boy and uh hauling with it so can't wait to get over there and see the car because it's going to be completely different from last time we all uh, had dropped it off so if you guys don't remember what the car looked like yeah i might want to go see what it used to look like because now it looks way different so can't wait to get there so let's hit the road guys all right where the hell is ace at i hope he's here Here's the man of the hour, man. What you got going on here, bro? A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Ooh, someone got a new toy. Yeah. Man, what's up with everybody missing the bow tie? <laughs> I know my green one is the same way. I don't have it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, get, I think this is the only place I see everybody missing the bow tie. I know. Yeah, I just picked this up a couple days ago. Oh, this is the one that was here before, right? Yeah. So, Oh yeah, you actually did record it when it was here too. Yeah, so what what you ended up doing it when it was here? Just washed it, right? You ain't no, do nothing. When he brought it here, he had just got it painted. Uh, I like there was a quick buff because they had a bunch of compound everywhere, and these guys left soils everywhere. Oh, so, so I just, just gave it a buff. It so you bought it from him? Yeah, I ended up. We were talking about it at the time. It didn't work out, and then he ended up posting it on Facebook. I saw it, and we ended up working out a deal. What year is this? I honestly don't even know. Bro. You don't know the year? No. This guy. I literally just got it like three, four days ago. Probably drove it once, I think. Took the title, took it home. And so what you doing with it? Uh, I don't like the wheels at all. So if I could find some nice forges or some bullets, I'll definitely switch up the wheels. But if not, I'm just gonna send those to get painted all black. Kind of go with that murdered out. Why wow, you don't like the Ruchis? I don't like Ruchis at all. Well, Ruchis, I don't like them in general. These are just worse because they're the color. <laughs> to top it all off. It's a clean Tudor though. Yeah, Looks like it's a 98 or 99. Yeah, it's one of the newer ones for sure. It's clean. It's Leather. It has two 15s in the trunk. It has a bunch of speakers, doors. Nice and clean. There, were, there was a, like for us, there was a, there was a, ze a season for the Tudor Tahoe's. Like oh, yeah. When the when it was trying to get cold, we everybody for some reason would start getting this this Tahoe. I don't know why, and like the price would go up. It would happen every year, bro. So like when you see them like on uh, the summer, they were out there, but not as like the demand wasn't hot, right? And then when when it's, once it started getting cold, people were buying the left and right. So I guess they were buying it for winter beaters. But this has always been a hot truck, a two-door Tahoe. I've always wanted. I had one before, but it honestly wasn't. You never seen the one I had right on 30s? No, I honestly did. That was clean too. Yeah, this one I'm gonna give it the actual work. I'm gonna wet tan and buff it, put ceramic color. You can it. open the hat? Oh, uh, yeah. Wait, so you selling this or no? Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. Somebody comes with the cash, I'll sell it. If not, I'm gonna just cruise it. Let me get a little 215 uh, audio pipe. Daily driver. Yeah, this thing is stupid loud. Dude. Yeah. I, got, I drove it home the other day and my ears were hurting. Don't worry guys, he's in the middle of detailing, so all this is going to be clean, right Ace? Yeah. Right Ace? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. 
Well guys, if you guys are interested in a Tudor Tahoe, this is gonna be available here pretty soon. He's just doing a detail on it. And I'm not sure what else he's gonna do, but you guys can probably get more information from him because I really don't know anything about this. I just know that it's a 90, 99, 98 Chevy Tudor Tahoe on 28 inch Rucci. Uh, it's got some music, it's leather, four by four. Oh, it does got the match thing, we didn't even see that. Nice magic steering wheel. Got a pioneer flip out radio. Look, we hold enough uh, traffic here. And we got a Jeep here. Not sure what he did to this. He went outside and talked to the customers. Hey, what you guys did to this uh, Jeep? I got one. Oh. I believe it's gonna get ceramic coated. Oh, okay. So this and, one. Uh, interior detail on it. Oh, full detail ceramic. Okay. Okay, he got the full package, full detail, buff, and ceramic coming up next. Nice. What do we have here? Now I know Ace can bring cars back to life, but I don't know about this one. What the hell he got going on right here? This guy's over here doing a uh, full restoration now. Hey bro, I know you'll be bringing cars back to life, but what what is going what is going on here, bro? Uh, this one. This one. Uh... This one, we're taking the life out of it, actually. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, like, I know this guy be bringing cars back to life. Oh, yeah, man, I don't one. know what he got going on here, but yeah. I ain't no bringing this one back to life, bro. <laughs> no, it actually pulled up driving perfectly fine, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was a good runner. No, nice, nice way to ruin it. <laughs> ruin it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bought this just because I'm gonna take a look. Oh, wow. The guy offered it to me at a good price. So, so I'm gonna take the motor, hold it for a little bit, and whatever pops up. So you're parting it out, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm selling whatever. Whatever is good, whatever. Well, if everybody, if anybody needs any parts, this guy got some extra parts here for sale. Seats, floor pan, steering. I don't know what he got, guys. So, like I said, hit him up on his personal or his uh, business uh, account on Instagram, Ace Mobile. Well, so with this one, it's almost gonna go, or what? Yeah, this one. Uh, this is getting ready to get out of here. Supposed to go over all the payments and everything tomorrow, so basically by the weekend, this day on here, out of here. Ah, okay. She's ready for her. Nice giveaway. Somebody's gonna be happy. If they take the truck, it's gonna be like, well, it's one of those, man. Here we got Pops here taking out the wax. Let's see this transformation right here. Oh, this is just the beginning? Yeah. Right so now this is the first stage? Yep. Still going to see a little bit of growth. Don't get scared if y'all see this video. <laughs> uh, he's taking up that uh, first stage right now. First compound. And he already got some shine. Look at the trunk reflection. And this is first stage, so they still got to do second and third. It's looking good. Clean Monte Carlo SS. All OG.
He looks like he got some jobs. He got a car wash pull up here. Man, you want me to clock in? <laughs> Please. Please do. So I get he got a wa what you got? Three washes in the med right now? They the just range. pulled up, right? This one and this one back to back. Well, we got an SS here. They just bought it. See? We offer a little bit of everything. This guy wanted his engine bay clean with just a quick wash. So we're about to clean the engine bay, shine it all up, give him a quick wash, get him out of here. Let's see how this engine looks before and after. Might be in the works already. Oh, yeah. During and after. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Y'all see this? We put a lot of armor on and he's done. <laughs> he'll be on his way. <laughs> no, it's not armor on. No? Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, we're going to continue with the tour. What do we got here? I got two Chevelles back to back. Oh, we got Scama here. I don't know if y'all remember this from Killamall Customs. We actually got two of uh, Killamall Customs customers' cars here, both of the Chevelles. The 24 inch Ford Giados. Yeah, brought her in for a full detail. He wants the ceramic coat the wheels, he wants the ceramic coat the car. Got that suspension work from Killamall. I see it, upper and lower control arms, QA1. Oh yeah, he didn't know how to open the hood last time. See Lou? Maybe you should get some lessons from Ace how to open the hood. <laughs> Who's got the big block 396? Turbo jet. Oh, he got the billet hinges. You just clean. Yeah, this one. Well, the engine bay wasn't wasn't too bad, but it definitely was dusty. Cleaned up the whole engine bay. Shine it's like scammer. Oh yeah, you guys know it's black. It's gonna beam once it's all. Is it all? What should what's left to do in this? Uh, I still gotta do everything, bro. Honestly. Oh, so I this is the just engine bay. We washed it up, and I still gotta do a whole bar. So you haven't even buffed it. This wow. is the how it came. Yeah. Came in pretty clean. I got before and he didn't like how it you know, we do the whole ball thing. Well, This thing is nasty. Yeah, you know, this is on the bucket list. I gotta give me a Chevelle one of these days. No, nah, I'm gonna say one of this year. Have you ever had one of these? I only had a 68. Oh, shit. Hard top, but I want a convertible. You know me, I like convertible. But I only bought it because that's what I came across at the time. Yeah. It was funny because when I bought it, I faked it and I said that my dad had bought it for me. Okay. And everybody believed me. Because you know what? It was crazy. I actually bought it for my birthday oh, a couple yeah. years ago. It was like, it was a while back. But I said uh, my dad had surprised me with a nice present. And everybody believed me. Even my brothers, bro, they were shocked. They're like, damn, my dad bought you a car? Yeah, this is nice. Matches steering wheel, bucket seats, floor shifter. Nasty. Nice. Yep, That's and he got the upgraded uh, gauges, looks like. Definitely, yes. Definitely a nice car, man. What you doing to the turkey? That one is getting a full, uh, full detail uh, ceramic coating. Right now I'm going over all the final details, making sure we're not leaving no scratches behind, nothing like that. So we'll share that. Within the next few days, we'll be ceramic coating and getting it out of here. SRT? This color right here is nasty, guys. So it came in pretty bad. It came in with a lot of swirls. I don't know if somebody broke it before. Or... Had a lot of swirls? Yeah. From like the automatic wash or from oh, just like, like oh somebody buffed it well, in? honestly it looked like ball control mixed with a little bit of car wash on. i think it was everything yeah it looked nice once it's all done 
So you gave it a first pass already? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gave it the first pass. It didn't even shine like this when it first came in. That looks good. Real, real yeah, this color is nasty. So. It's like a gray blue mix. I really like the color. If it pops like this, I can yep. only imagine once we do the actual color. Yeah, and them wheels don't look bad either on it. Yeah, I feel like if he lowers the back a little bit, yeah, it'll look nasty. It sporty, yeah. Yep, very aggressive. Yeah. And we got one more left over here. What we got over here? Oh, we got another of Killer Mall Customs car. Yeah, I remember this bad boy. Chevelle. What you doing to this one? Same thing. Same thing? Yeah, they said they want the same thing. So they both getting the same treatment? Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, ceramic coat too. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this one as well. I have vlogged this one to kill them more customs. Got this step forge wheel lip. Cap. This one got a nice belly. It's painted and stuff. So it's about to look really nice. Gonna get all detailed. Similar interior. Floor shifter, matching steering wheel. Different gauges. Very similar. Super nice car. Big block. I think he had, he had something, something that ripped. I'm guessing like a belt or something. He had a bunch of black stuff on here before, so we cleaned all that up. Oh yeah, and sounds like a belt. This is nice. Porsche portal, that looks nice, clean. You go down to this back wall, you can tell that's like a... The firewall? Yeah, the firewall, they, they shined it up nice, so I made sure I got back there, cleaned everything up. Yeah, well you know it's a 70, so... Yeah. Is this the prime here for these? Yeah, 70. Oh, okay. And it is nice, like I love the, the front end of it. I don't know, like the two individual lights, yeah. I just... I think he needs the hinges that are on the black one. Oh, the billet? Yeah. And you know what? They actually got the black and machine. Oh, so he can get the black ones. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. If he gets the black uh, hinges, it would look really nice. You're right about that one. But I actually have a video on this one on YouTube. If you guys want to go check it out, you can see more of it. But I don't want to hold up too much of my boy Abe because he got a busy shop out of nowhere. So let's go outside and check what we came for, man. Wait, are you ready to show him this? Yeah. All I want to know is why I get this treatment, guys. Look, I'll come over here. And look where he threw my wheels at. Oh, shit. Bro. <laughs> this guy said, said, you want me to clean them and post them? I said, yeah, go for it. <laughs> well, I, I guess it's, it's in the pile of all the junk. He got <laughs> mortars, parts. All right. I guess that's where they belong. <laughs> Chevy Malibu Bam Check it out gang English way different Malibu's most wanted Malibu's most wanted 
gotta clean up some nice. Clothes. You know what? That's what we're gonna name it. Yeah. Malibu's most wanted. <laughs> Malibu's most wanted. So explain everything you did to this car. Man, so this car, I mean, from the beginning, it looked like it hadn't been detailed in forever. It had a bunch of tree sap on it, so we cleaned up the whole top. We had tree sap on the back. We, uh, that was the beginning of it. We clay barred the whole car, obviously. Uh, then we buffed it out, tried to buff it out a little bit, didn't clean up too much, so we started doing the wet sand. Did the whole wet sand on the whole car, got rid of uh, whatever unnecessary clear coat it had, any imperfections it had from whatever the painters did, cleaned up all that. So wet sanded everything from the front bumper all the way to the trunk, everything got wet sanded, uh, buffed everything out. And uh, for the wheels, you know, I'm sure everybody on your, on your videos remembers the wheels, they didn't have these wheels on there. Put the 24s on there for you. Uh, make sure everything was good. Clean up the interior. Did a full detail on the interior. Clean up the carpet. Clean up the seats, windows. Well, windows were tinted before, so that was kind of in the mix of everything. Took the tints off. Car was tinted. We took that off. But yeah, pretty much just gave it a whole rundown. Like I said, the car looked like it hadn't been detailed in a little while, so it was due for a real, real good detail. Definitely did. It did not look like this. Yeah. Now we can see some shine. Y'all see me right here in the reflection? <laughs> you really couldn't see the You couldn't. It was like a like a doll. Yeah, it was doll. But now you can you can keep, you see reflection and it it's a gloomy day guys because it's actually drizzling right now. So I wish we had the sun to show you guys. You will obviously get some videos later on, but when I have to hold it out just to check it in the sun to kind of see how it was coming out. It has a lot but of metallic, so. I think it looks way better like fishbowl with no tents yeah. and the billet. It's just like a different car. The tents were kind of throwing it off. Like yeah. It had different wheels. I could see the tents, but with this setup and how it looks. It's... Not just that though, but the they car has care. a lot of chrome, yeah. so it really has a lot to show. Yeah. You know, if the car was one solid color, I would say, you know what? Leave the tents on. But with putting the billets now and um, having a nice interior. Yeah. Nice cloth top. I think no tint. It looks way better, bro. Yeah. I that's my opinion. What y'all think in the comment section? Let me know if y'all think it looks better without the tints or with the tints. I don't think um, some old school should have tints. Some of them do, but this one, I think the way it looks, it looks nice. It just looks like a nice, clean, classic car. Yeah. It's a perfect, perfect look. Yeah. And this is a Landau, so you know it's gonna have all the chrome on it. Yeah. So that's how it should look. Cause that's how it came from the factory. I love that you like the interior? That's why I was like, man, the tents, the tents are showing like hiding one of the one of the good parts. Of hey, the wheels don't look bad. I mean, no, I like them. They look nice. The stance is good. We haven't test drove it, and I didn't want Ace to be blamed for anything. So we're gonna have to do some test driving on the 24s. But check out the interior. You can see now more from it because with the tents, it was kind of like it was kind of dark in here, so it wasn't really much to see. Now you can see all the details. But yeah, you can see everything. Steam wheel pops more. That's like everything is wrapped, so it looks really nice. Yeah, no, I clean the road. Right? Look at the doors. Pretty all nice. You need it was a little love. Cake panels. And it smells good in here. You can tell he must have put some conditioner. Did you guys put some conditioner in here? Yeah, leather conditioner. Yeah, you can smell it. That's crazy. I didn't even know we had a rear deck. See guys what the tents do? I didn't even know we had a custom rear deck. I actually didn't either until I got back there and I was like, oh damn. I didn't know it had that other that other light too. The third brake light. Oh yeah. Hey, why don't you uh, tilt the steering wheel? I mean the steering wheel, the center for me, yeah? Yeah, I got it. You know how to do it? When you uh, go back, you're gonna have to, uh, when you turn it off, press it again because it closes by itself. See, land out. There you go. Now we got the roof. Let's check out the engine bay. Let's see the engine bay. This is where he gets fired. The famous engine bay. The famous engine bay. Have you seen the lights in this? No, I haven't. Here, I'm... turn them on real quick. See if you like them. Just the uh, first ones. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to see him? Y'all ready? Oh, <laughs> the green machine. <laughs> they're not bad, I guess. Not too bad, right? I wouldn't do it personally, but they're not bad. 
Oh god, he's, you know he's lying. You know he's lying. I'm gonna have to change it to the green machine. The green goblin. The green goblin. The green goblin 2.0. That's what I named the, the green steps. And well, power. How that, the thing sounds good, right? Like oh, the exhaust. And it runs good. Yeah, it sounds pretty good, guys. I had to get around. Remember, I told you when I first put the back wheels to see how, how it felt. And you like it? I like it. But it feels not fresh. too bad, right? No, it feels healthy. And this is a carbureted uh, swap. Yeah. Did you oh, know that? Oh, is it? Yeah, you don't see the carburetor? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, it's a carburetor swap. It's not a. And it turned, bro, the car, it left me surprised because usually with a lot of these older cars, yeah. but let's say I'm doing a big job like this, I'll go park it in the corner and obviously with, them, with not turning it on two, three weeks, it's hard to try it. And oh, yeah. every time I went to turn it back on, it was always right on point. You know why? That battery. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, guys, y'all see the transformation now? He did a good job. He did a whole wet tent and buff job. He installed the 24 inch wheels. He did a tent removal. He did an inside detail. And now it's all done, ready. For a new owner. Ready for a new owner. Or what y'all think, gang? Should we make this a giveaway car? I know y'all been asking about this car. Oh, and you got nothing going on right now either. Nope. This actually might be a good giveaway car. What y'all think? All right, guys, get in the comments section. Let me know if y'all want to see this in the next giveaway. This car is ready to go. Y'all see the whole uh, transformation from the, how the car looked to how it looks now. It's a new Malibu. New Malibu. I think it looks good. I think this thing came out nice. I like it. I you like it? Flows. See, it's Ace approves. <laughs> it's a clean G body. Goes, it flows all together, the green top. I think, I think everything just clicks. Yep. It's got the power, it's got the wheels, it's got the brakes. Look how big them brakes are. All you gotta do is go smoke the tail lights. No man, <laughs> do not see this guy. I know that's the main thing you hate. Oh man. <laughs> see? Oh, if my CA would have had the smoke tail light, I wouldn't even bought it. I wouldn't even stop there. I was like, you know what? I was interested until I seen the tail lights. It's not the one. I'm glad that uh your Jeep over there don't got the, the tail lights smoke. Not yet. Not yet, man. <laughs> hey, you say you hate them on, on old school, bro. Man, look, it's gonna look better if you get like some actually LEDs, you know, smoke, but <laughs> there's some that you can smoke with. <laughs> there's I don't know. some you can. I guess we're gonna check them out, man. Y'all see the before, let's see the after. <laughs> oh look, this guy's trying to get a car wash. <laughs> Ain't got no room. Mobile. Mobile, yeah. Mobile. Oh yeah, guys, he does mobile wash too. Where's your truck at? Is that your truck? Right there, yeah. He does mobile pull-ups. Uh, I don't know how that works with him. You're gonna have to call him. Yeah. And that's down. his. That's his. <laughs> you broke down already. It broke down. Oh, never mind. I, I was. <laughs> never mind. Bro, he's been doing it the last few weeks, but Saturday, I don't know what happened. He said it died on him twice. So. Is this the number that they gotta yeah. call for a mobile wash? Call me, text me. I, I get phone calls literally all day. So if I ever don't answer a phone call, just shoot me a text with my personal number. So I'll make sure I get back to everything. If, if I don't answer once, just give me another thing. And I tell you guys, my phone is literally blowing up all day. I'm getting messages. And when you do mobile wash, you go pretty much anywhere? Or how yeah, does that work? As long as there's enough work, I'll go anywhere. But like if you tell me to drive two hours away to do one car, you know, it's not. It has to be like if I'm driving an hour, at least three, four cars. If I'm driving two hours or whatever the case is, it just has to be reasonable. Okay, I'm about to do them. Uh, I'm going to have them come to the shop and wash all the cars. Yeah. Do, you, do you clean the uh, shops too? Clean shot. <laughs> I'm joking, bro. Another, another ace. <laughs> another well, bro, appreciate you, man. Uh, I don't know what's next. I, you know, I just got back. I'm over here celebrating my birthday with Ace, picking up a car. <laughs> so, yeah. Nah, uh, but it looks good, bro. Yeah, don't think I didn't want to finish it, bro. I just wanted to give it back to you on your birthday. <laughs> man, I forgot about this car. Nah, I, you know, it looks good though. Can't wait to see how it performs. I wonder if wait it do. Until they see it in the sun. Oh yeah, in the sun. Because it's got it's got metallics on no, it. No, it has a lot of metallic, but it looks nice. It's not like an exaggerated metallic, but it's a real, real nice. Oh metallic. yeah, you can't even see it here. Oh. Uh, yeah, you gotta catch it in the sun. No, you can't. You can't even see it. Yeah, put the flight, Let's see. Oh, right there. Y'all see? It's got some metallic <laughs> on it. There you go. <laughs> 
Wait till they see it in the sun. Well, we're gonna have to catch this on a sunny day and show y'all the real actual color. But you can kind of see it here, right? It's yeah. just a little dark. Videos don't do justice. Videos don't do justice. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna load this thing back up and uh, go back home. We'll celebrate. Celebrate. Well, guys, I must say, the ride on 28, not so much different on the 26. So we pulled pretty much the same. Looks like I lost the damn hook. So this strap, you know, because I always cross them, this strap, this strap right here got loose. And probably somewhere on the highway. But that's why I like to put always four straps just in case something like this happens. So we made it back. We're here at the shop. We're about to unload it. But just wanted to give you guys an update that the truck performed the same on the 28th. Alright, let's get this thing unloaded.